All right, let us continue on. We have delivered tools, I think I remember. And I think I know from where I'm going to take it to. I think there was... Why, why does it keep pushing me to go here? I don't want to go there, bro. This one, right? Sideboard trailer. There's another one here, but that has, it's a semi-trailer. Semi-trailers need special mounting equipment. I don't know what the hell you exactly call it. It won't just go on any normal bed. You need to have like a mount or something for it. God knows. Whatever. I don't have that. So instead... Okay, I'm still going there. I do not want to go there. Instead... He will just simply go to the lumber mill. Grab the tools. That are hanging out over there. This sideboard trailer. Now you might have to go around and then come back and then drag it and then take it out, but we'll, we'll do that. And break off, or we'll drive on. Let's go. Should be a quick and easy enough operation. We should clear out another road block. And I'm hoping, I'm hopeful that by doing all these little, little tasks, making my life a little easier, it will eventually lead to a time wherein I can pretty easily I should say just like you know say oh I want this thing to be taken here okay that's you know then I have like clear steps okay go here from here and then now that we have fixed all the roads nice good like well maintained roads are available for us to just do our stuff but you put you have actually just put so much stuff around one little pothole bro I see these portals every day on the road by the way, there ain't no, not a single sign. You just, you just have to remember where they are. That way, don't forget. I know the semi truck is closer. We can't do anything about the semi truck though. If I put this off. Is there a visual change that I can see? There might be. This game is very into the whole simulation aspect. I respect it, honestly. That's, you know, it is kind of fun to get into it. All these different things about trucks and all that. I mean, I'm, I was never very into all of these things, but there is a certain satisfaction to, you know, seeing. Oh, okay, 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 come on. Bro. Just because I'm bouncing around doesn't mean you can do damage to me. Alright. We have the bush stock lumber mill. We have a time trial type deal over here. Let's not worry about that right now. And this little trailer here. I think I tried to... No, I had to grab that one and I was not able to. I remember that. This should be good enough. Attach it. Now that we have the tools, the tools of the trade, we can take them back into town here, and then here, and then there. Not there. Straight there. Boom, put like a little, little semi, semi markers, put that over there, straight ahead, get on till morning. Alright, the rest of this stuff, they can, can just stay there, honestly, you can just leave it somewhere around the bridge, because I'm sure we would need bricks at one of these, you know, at some point. And if our trailer is empty, I'll just take it back and sell it, honestly, it's not, not that big of a deal. Pretty, uh, pretty simple, actually. It's a pretty nice trailer, honestly. It's not that heavy. It's pretty, like, high. You gotta see how it deals with mud, obviously. If it's bad with mud, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a big deal. If we gotta go gear one. Gotta make sure our tires don't get stuck in there. It is indeed a slope. It's not like we have a choice. 
Well, this is a heavy duty truck though, you know, it's got, it's got, a, it's got a pretty tough engine. It can, it can power its way through this. I just really wish I could have better tires on this. I think that would make a big difference, but whatever. It's working out for now. And I think it was smart to come here. I think this initial area is just in general easier than the other side of the river. So I think I think just focusing on the missions on this side first and then maybe transferring over to the other side is, is very smart. I think that's gonna that's gonna save my life, honestly. And maybe I can just build uh, connections. Maybe instead of going through all the muddy ass terrain on the, on the other side of the river, I can then you know just cross the bridge over to this side. And this side is more like properly built up, you know, there's more roads and stuff. We can then just use this area as a, as you know, as a little transit area. Until eventually, hopefully, the other side also gets good enough. The roads get built back up. I don't know if we actually do build up roads, so if it's just going to be like that forever. Whatever the case may be, when we are ready, we can start then transporting directly from that side, but we'll see. For now, I think having this other side of the river as a little transport hub is a good idea. I believe. Now, let's see. Vehicles over 40 inches are prohibited. 40 inches. Whatever. Anyway, we're on to the proper road. Did I knock over the sign? No, I did not. Yeah, I'm a good person. And there you go, easy enough. Avoid the porthole. Okay, and then I think it's just a straight road up ahead now. Very good. Why are the bricks being carried all slanted like that? Probably some kind of advantage I don't know about. Whatever works, I suppose. Whatever works. Get this roadblock fixed. I mean, think about people's lives, honestly. Like, we're just living around here. I've cleared out so much. I've built so many. I've built like two bridges. I've cleared out like the second roadblock I'm clearing out. I, there, was, there was a foreign power line I fixed, basically. You know, I'm, I'm doing pretty well, honestly. I have done quite a lot of stuff since I popped in, just, I don't know, <laughs> dropped in by God or whatever. And we have traction again. The trailer is out of the mud and we are no longer dealing with gravity problems. Should be okay. Alright, and then a little bit further, there's the rock slide. Um, what do you mean, rock slide? Hold next action. Cargo management, yeah. Service spare parts, unload. Boom, it's gone. I heard you took care of the of the rock slide. You're making quite a name for yourself. Great job. Oh, thank you, buddy. There you go. Now this area is all clear for us. There is a stuck trailer over there. Trailer store as well. But not this... No, oh, this stock trailer probably refers to this stock trailer. Yeah, probably. Riverside repair. Right. Now, this thing still has... Got some bricks on there. Close. Oh, they gotta leave this trailer somewhere. What better place than right over here? Not flip it over, please. Leave it in here. What is this area? I don't know, man. But detach it. We can just live there for now. Stop the engine. What are we doing now? There's a drainage thing, which means needs me to go into all these different swamps and clear it out. Although, I don't think there's too much water here, bro. 
There ain't no way my little truck is going to be able to drive through there. Here, on the other hand, stuck trailer. Well, I mean, look at this. There's no way I'm driving over that crap. So the riverside repair here. There's the missing machinery. Also the wooden bridge. Now the wooden bridge is indeed interesting because they want they want me to grab stuff from the lumber mill here and then take it over. Now the, from the lumber mill up to like hell, even up till here, up to the bridge is fine. This roadblock will get in the way though. So maybe this roadblock should be next. They are out. There's also a Chevrolet Kodiak just stuck in the water there. Local entertainment, meteorologist data. Okay, well, well, well there's one more thing. Drainage. Where are these uh, drainage things? One right there. One right there. Okay, I'm going to try and grab this one. I'm going to try and grab it. Okay, that's my next target. Because if I can drain it, there is another... Another thing for me. Come on. Free barrage. Alright. Remember that you can find all the tutorial hints and more useful info on different topics in the game codex. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. And if I can't do this, I'll I'll we'll work on this roadblock. Clearing out this roadblock will give me access to all of this area as well. Because this road is bricked, bro. There's no going there. With this roadblock cleared, maybe I could okay, probably can go here and then get to the warehouse this way. But yeah, to get to like the this area, we would need to clear this roadblock because this main road is what takes us there, right? This is the this is the proper road here, and then this road also goes here, connects to all the major ones. This is the only one which is like far away from any major roads, but we will see how to deal with that. Uh, for now though. Now, how are we going to approach this? Let's get over here and then we'll have a look. Because I think going inside the farm, uh, from like inside of the farm, like the side road, the mud road inside, I think that's a bad idea. I think we should not do that. I should put a snorkel on this. They're going in water now. Can I put a snorkel on this? Nope. Well, that's not good, is it? We can get some repair stuff. That's yeah, not really gonna help us. An extra wheel mount for spare, allowing for quick field repairs. Autonomous scout. We already have better tires on us. It's good for mud. Bad for off road. Get a snow runner. Better off road performance, sacrificing gear count, top speed, and fuel efficiency. Let's get a snow runner thing going at least. So now in low gear, there's low gear with high, and then low gear with low. Low gear, super low. I see, and then we have high gear, which, to be honest, is not even that high. And then we have reverse and neutral. Yeah, so the SnowRunner gearbox is kind of like extremely slow. Okay, auto is 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 okay. Auto is good. Okay. <laughs> Screw high, just go auto. Look at this. Look at how fast this is going, bro. I whatever. Who cares about the normal one? This is good enough. But water over road. Should be completely fine. If that much water was considered dangerous, I don't know what to tell you, man. Because that bilge pump or whatever is gonna be it's gonna be a little harder than that to get to get at. The sun's setting. Man. Wait, there is one near the garage as well. Okay, it's one at the back. I remember, I remember. I got a memory. We'll start with the one near the farm, though. And I hope this also clears out some of the mud in the surrounding area. Now, that would be a real treat. It could also do that. 
So what? We we lost one gear. That's it. We lost one. Uh, we lost a gear five on this for two low gears and stuff, and that's worth it. We also lost fuel efficiency, I suppose. But you know, that's fine. Pump is in there now. Get into the pump. Difficult question. I believe this is the only real way to get in there. The other path, obviously, is through here. Now it's it's very it's very tree tree focused here. A lot of trees. Yeah, I can't see shit. To figure out a path through these trees. That's that's not that bad, okay. Bro, there's land in the Maybe there is land there, I just can't see it. Yes, there is land. Bro. Now what? I have found the pump. What do I do with it? it nothing happened, bro. Is it find the pump? I found the pump. Guess it's just it's on now. Okay, so I guess. I guess it's like it's magic, all I gotta do is find them and touch them and then they'll just work. Those are just bushes, we can just drive through there. Look at that, back on the road. Okay, well, I found it. What you want me to do with it, but I I did indeed find it. Yeah, it's more or less correct. Now getting over the I'm not gonna go over this this hell road here. Instead, I'm gonna try to excuse me, sir. I'm gonna go instead over here. Take me, take me over there at least. Okay, we'll talk about it once I get there. Switch me to high gear, so I can actually go a little fast. Gear 4 please, thank you very much. Now we should be able to pick up some speed. And this water should be drained. Just activate the pump, man. Do I gotta find all three pumps to activate them? Like, that, that, that doesn't seem like, you know, sensible. Just activate them as I find them. Whoa. Okay, buddy. Flax there a little bit. A little getting a little fast, are we? A little too fast. Anyway, I just believe we should just activate it. Just my two cents, honestly. I don't see why we wouldn't. They are using a shit ton of fuel, huh? Hey, I'll say it. That was not a very long distance away. I've used up a ton of fuel. Like usually I would use up barely any fuel. Not this time though. Not this time. Okay, we'll head over. I don't even have my lights on. I'll head over inside real quick. Little we'll pit stop in the garage. Repair whatever damage there is, refuel and all that.
quick little stop. We also get a little car wash. That's always fun to have. We can continue onward. Lights on, please. Do like being able to see. Now, I remember this road being bad even for this car, right? This was not a fun. Uh, like this is fine. It's gonna very soon become horrible, though. Right? There's the horribleness. What the hell? Maybe that was not the horribleness yet? Maybe that was also not the horribleness? What the hell is going on? Bram, smooth sailing. This is a little, little sticky, but you know, we broke the log. I think we're out. But that was easy as hell. No runners, just the uh, freaking gearbox. It's freaking crazy, bro. Overpowered. Honestly, maybe this was the horrible part. It's it's bad, but you know, chugging through it. Why would you even drive on this road, man? Like who? Someone drove like some big ass vehicles over here. That's the only way it got these massive tread marks. Like, why? <laughs> this road cannot handle it, bro. Whatever, man. I'm out of there. No skin off my back. Of my teeth. What did they say? Whatever. Keep on driving. The long path to get over there. I believe we are closing in. Take this little side turn and now we have to think about our approach. So for now getting to this marker here should be my point and then maybe transferring over here, there and then that's our final goal. Okay, yeah, through the trees we go. I would not be shifting gears, by the way. Just my two cents, if I were you, I would be like, not shifting gears at all. Okay, you know what? Through this, take me down here. Yes, I know all about the dangerous water levels and all that. That's the wrong, uh, the wrong place, man. You gotta go back and go this way. We are stuck in the mud. That's where our friendly neighborhood logs come in to help us. Come on. There you go. Add a boy. That wasn't smart, was it? Ha! Yes, yes, I know all about the dangerous water level.
Okay, okay, okay. Water damage is a truck. I know, I know, I know. I mean, if nothing helps. Grab that truck. <laughs> Your objective, ground heavy truck discovered. Boom, Bill's pub discovered. We wish to recover. Yes. There you go. Alright, third Bill's pump. All the way freaking up there. It's a trek. And a long one. No doubt about it. But. If you can see all of our. Uh, problems. A lot of them anyway. Dealt with. Then it is worth it I believe. Take me here. Not there. There. And then from here maybe we take the water road. To get here. Right, and then from here, we just need to find a short enough path to jump into this place, and then that should take us to the pump. Okay. Do the naf. The last pump, and you get the steel river. And then, I don't know, we can activate all the pumps, hopefully, and uh, the water just freaking clears out. Auto gear me up to four. It's fast enough, honestly, for all I need. There you go. Make sure your lights are on. And we are all good. We are golden. Soon the land will be dry. With dry land, I can recover some better trucks. The fact that they have been here since the 70s is crazy though. Like you would think the government would just give you, or just come in with like a bunch of bilge pumps, pump out all the water. I guess it's, you know, it's a lot of territory. But surely there are companies that do this, right? That like will come into your place and pump out all the water for you if you want, if you have like a flood or something. That there seems to be money to be made right there, and uh, if no one's doing it, well, I think it's time to start a business. <laughs> there is a market demand which is not being met. That means there's money. All right. It is nice that this is it's quite fast. Now again, I wouldn't say this is very fast. Like this is, is this kilometers or miles on the speedometer there? Not no. Doesn't even say, it's probably miles which is a problem. Because uh, I'm more of a kilometer guy. You know, I don't really use miles. Or feet or whatever. More about the good old fashioned kilometers. I guess they're not old fashioned. Miles would be old fashioned. Newfangled kilometers. Yes, you could call it. I mean, the sky, look at this. Look at this freaking view, though, man. This is it's an insanely beautiful place. Just, I mean, there's no denying that fact, you know. That just is what it is. Okay, we're gonna stop for fuel. Smart. Do require some fuel. I don't understand what they want me to do with this drainage. Like, I'm just going there. Why not activate it? Maybe you can argue I'm installing it, but no, it's already been installed. What am I doing to it? Am I, like, repairing it? Am I ensuring that it's working? So it doesn't short out or something? I don't know. What am I doing? There. 
I don't need to go. I understand it from a game perspective. Like, yeah, okay, you want the player to be able to conquer the swamp before you just destroy it and make it make it life much easier. So that makes sense. But like, where is the game explanation for why whatever is happening is happening? Free fuel. Two post boxes, huh? I guess yeah, makes sense. Multiple post boxes for multiple people living there. Makes sense. Alright, now we got the hotel in. No, it's the ho hotel in? Hotel in? Whatever, man. It's a motel. Welcome, have a nice day. What's the name of the town? Nobody knows. But we're gonna drain the swamp. I mean, for city driving, this is not fast enough. <laughs> this is, you know, I mean, it works. But, like, I would much prefer to go quite a bit faster than what I am doing right now. Like, this is, this ain't it, man. This ain't it. I had to go at least, like, you know, empty road, 60, 65 kilometers an hour. That is, that is not that bad. That is pretty slow. People go a lot faster than that. But, like, this car cannot do that much. To be fair, I don't think my, any of my cars could go through this kind of mud. How easily this thing is just gonna just, you know, look at this, it's just driving through. Oh wait, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> so. Back. Take the road. Let's try, I don't even think that's a road anymore, bro. I think I might be screwed if I try this, but like there's a sign there. What does the sign say? Drilling site. Yeah, I mean there there is a drilling site there. It's not they're not wrong about that. high gear okay how about we pull ourselves out of this mess look for a different entrance eh Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just want to get out of here, man. This will pull me sideways is the thing. Okay, but it might be enough. Okay, it was enough to get me out of that freaking mess. Okay, this is a trap. Do not go in there. Do not believe the signs. Signs will lie to you. Get to solid road up there. We're gonna take the long way around. At least for now. I think once we drain the swamp and the water level is... Well, I'm hoping it's just gonna be gone. But, I mean, there's probably be a lot of mud left. In reality. I think for now, what we have to do... Get on around it. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go there, here, 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 up like that. Then around here and then You know what? Start by uh checking out this little area. See what that's all about. Auto mode? Good. You can put off AWD, I suppose. You don't need it. 
Do we lose speed without AWD? I do not know. But I know we save fuel, which is a natural consider which is an actual consideration now because we are running low on it a lot of times, which is not good. Differential lock being always on is fine. And we can turn off all wheel drive if it is not needed. So we are driving mostly on road. Well, that's broken. I don't know where that leads now. But let's hope it leads to somewhere good. I think it needs to drill inside, probably. The drill side is what mainly we have come here to save, apparently. I think all-wheel drive here would be a good idea. We need some power to deal with these rocks. Hey, this is horrible. Yo, can I get some, like, people to clean this road up? Oh, you know, just rebuild the road, because there is no road, really. Saggy road, apparently, under that sign. Be prepared for the unexpected. Yeah, thanks, buddy. That's that's a great sign. I love that sign. Be prepared for the unexpected. Yeah, what unexpected thing? I guess we don't know. That's the whole point. Could be anything. Be ready for anything. Give me all-wheel drive. I am off-road. Maybe that's the secret. If you're off-road, all-wheel drive. If you're on-road, you can put off all-wheel drive. We don't need it. Just wasting fuel. Alright. Okay, there's no task or anything here. It's just broken. Well, that's crap. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Let's uh, go down here. <clears throat> Let's check out what's up. A little bumper touch is fine. A little bumper touch. No big deal. A little bumper touch. And cleared. Alright. We have a road going down into the, the swamp. Blooded zone here. All wheel drive should be on now. This is gonna be quite a bit. It's gonna be quite a bit of mud here. So we should be careful. Well, we seem to be pretty well. So well, this seems to be where the mud starts. Oh, yeah, we're avoiding it pretty well. Advantage of being a little thin boy, I suppose. Okay, lights are needed for now. Well, that seems like hell. Uh, how are we gonna cross over? Maybe from back here, and then we'll have just a little, little, little thing there. Otherwise, we're gonna need some kind of proper path leading over. I don't know how deep this mud is, but I know there's land there. You know what? I mean, obviously, I wouldn't go here. Why would I even try? Look at this road. It's terrible. But, uh, yeah. I think going back. Then maybe getting in here. Getting all the way to here. And then maybe we can winch our way across. Because this is a mess right here. Like, maybe I could. But I don't know if I really could. I don't have the rescue vehicle on hand. That would actually be a good idea, you know, bring a truck along with me to pull this truck out of the water if it ever gets stuck. Because right now if I get stuck and I have no, like, anchor point, I'm kind of screwed, right? What if I bring the anchor point with me, though? How can I be screwed? Unless both my vehicles get stuck in the mud, in which case I am totally screwed. But, you know, that's that wouldn't happen, right? Wouldn't let that happen. 
all right so we stick to the actual solid land so there's not a lot of that going around go winch is is are very effective is are i'm talking about Go. Now, safe enough. Isn't I mean? It will probably isn't. That's why we got the winch, no? Come on, this is the last one. I got them all. You have been promoted, you have reached rank 4. Drainage, nicely done. With these pumps back, we can finally start getting things back to normal around here. What do you mean, nothing happened? Bro, nothing happened. Yo, where's my... Why, why is it not drained, bro? Is it gonna come on? Bro, nothing changed. Stop the engine. Nothing changed, bro. What's the big deal? I need to go turn it on? <laughs> I don't understand. Is there a button I gotta press? No containment, down the highway truck. Off road truck is recommended. Mythology data, Pinewood Express, these are contests. On the map, you can see Riverside Repair, local entertainment. Stuck trailer, mythology data, missing oil tank, don't scout, we have a roadblock, there's the only one roadblock left. Missing machinery, needs to, get to haul stuff, Pinewood Express, same roadblock, heavy trailer, the wooden bridge as well as important, food delivery, missing oil, down there, second wooden truck, motel bow, stuck trailer. And then we have one upgrade that is just sitting there. Well, I'm not happy with how this thing turned out, but whatever, let's go to Riverside Repair. We'll go the same way we came. Like so. I don't know, maybe they take a while to actually have an effect or something. Who knows? Who knows with this crap, man? Could just never happen for all I know. Honestly, if I'm here, explore the road uh, less taken, huh? Pop into the trailer store, see what's up. We sunk in the mud. There's less water here. I can't tell, honestly. Seems like, honestly, like completely the same to me. Oh yeah, that's a solid tree. That's a very solid tree. That tree ain't gonna fail me. That's one tough tree right there. Thank you, tough tree. Why trees are humanity's best friends. They allow us to pull our truck out of the water. That's why you leave, leave some nice tough trees around. Well, I really hope the water level is going down. And it's not just a... Yeah, yeah, you can imagine the water level is going down. No, no, no. I don't want to imagine that. I want that to actually happen. Know what I'm saying? 
Because I mean, oh, the winch is still attached. Oh, why the hell can't I move? What's wrong with you? But I think it's not gonna happen. I think the swamp thug is gonna be here forever. I think it was just get to the get to these little points on the map. That's it. That's the mission. No, uh, you actually have an effect. It's saddening to me. But well, unfortunately, not very surprising. Now, I am going to run out of fuel very soon. That is a fact. Can't do much about that, but... Whatever exploring I can until then. First time fuel has actually ever been a real concern for us. Normally we are like flush with, with all the stuff we need. Usually we get stuck. Not run out of fuel, but you know. First time for everything I suppose. Get out of this place, thank you. What do you mean this is mud? This isn't mud. The middle part is mud. Seems solid enough. Hey, look at this. Anyway, there's the trailer store. Cool little place. It's got a trailer there already. Maybe. Wouldn't this be cool? It's a fuel trailer. That would be mighty helpful for us. What are you, sir? What are you? Nobody knows. I think you're probably a mission trailer. You're probably the kind of trailer we come for when we have a specific mission that requires this one specific trailer. You're not useful to me at all, are you? Well, this is hell. There you go, we just idled through it. There should be a way to call for like a fuel resupply or something. Oh my lord. Well, that was some engine damage for sure. Oh, here is the trailer store. Scout flatbed. Also, we can take stuff. Prototype exploration unit. 120 liters. Service scout trailer. Off-road scout trailer. Small flatbed. Large service scout fuel carrier. Small fuel carrier. Fuel tank trailer designed. Designed for use with scout type vehicles. Specialized trailer, fully equipped for on site repairs and refueling. Small flatbed trailer used with scout type vehicles, holds single unit of cargo. And an off road trailer. A medium sized trailer with a scout hitch. This model is more fit for off road use. So I can use it with off road stuff. Service trailer, relatively small trailer equipped for on site repairs and refueling. Prototype exploration unit. It holds 120 liters of fuel and a flatbed. Regular flatbed trailer for use with scout type vehicles, cannot be two units of cargo. Very interesting. Okay. So at some point, if I really wanted to, I could use my freaking scout. Bro. I could use my scout to carry cargo. That shit's crazy. I don't think it's very effective. I hope not, because then you would not need trucks anymore. <laughs> What's the point of having a big, a big old truck? 
when a little, little teeny tiny scout can just like do whatever you want. Not really a scout anymore then is it? It just is the vehicle, that's it. Not a scouting vehicle, it is just the vehicle that you use. Yeah, 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 I get it. All wheel drive me out of here. Just put it off if you don't need it. I'm trying to conserve fuel here. I could always just buy a trailer, but I ain't spending money on a trailer for no reason. Having some extra fuel could be helpful, but no, man. Don't need it. You can always just come back. And this time we can not just we can just disable all wheel drive at all times like I I was obsessively using before. And whenever we get stuck, switch it on and then just put it off again. Because we don't really need it all the time. It's, it's way overkill, using a lot of fuel. Start thinking about fuel efficiency now. No, it's it's important. We're gonna be exploring properly. I think we'll get there too. Tunnel. Right, it's a tunnel to the uh, to the other town, I believe. Yeah, we can we can use all-wheel drive, like climb up some of these tougher slopes or whatever, and get past any kind of mud that we find. Other than that, though, should not be needed. Okay, so here's this task that is all the way out here. What is it you need? Steel River here. Our river fleet was badly damaged and the only person who can help us is all of... Uh, and the only... What the hell? Our river fleet was badly damaged and the only person who can help us is all out of equipment. Oh, I see. Can you supply our guy with the tools he needs to pack us up? It. Start tracking it. So here are the tools. Oh no, this is where you have to give it. We take it from either this flatbed. Wait, what do I need to give? Bookman's house. Two spare parts, two wooden blanks. Are you, have you lost your dang mind? You've lost your mind. Where am I gonna get two service spare parts? This has two wooden blanks for you. Lama Mela has infinite wooden blanks. We got, I guess we got three service spare parts right here, but it's on a flatbed semi trailer. Oh, man's house building. That'll get the river fleet back up and running, apparently. Well, that'll be a problem because the. Uh, I guess we need to carry it up in a scout. That seems like the only like sensible thing to do. I'm gonna scout out of this road here. See if it is any good for uh, scout traveling and then maybe purchase a... Uh, the off-roading scout uh, bed. Put stuff in. I mean, I should try if I can. If I can get to the uh, the fuel station. I don't need to go back then. Thing is, we probably will not be able to go all the way back. Maybe I could bring a truck up here. Honestly, I should check it out. This road is not that bad. A truck might be able to get in here. A normal truck, I think, is, is the is the optimal choice. At least for the planks.
We should be able to bring a truck up here, man. It'll take two trips for sure, but... It'll work. Now, can I bring a truck with a semi attached? It's a different story. That is much more doubtful. But I know I can do... Uh, and probably get it up this road. Will it be easy? No. Not at all. But it can be done. That's the important part. Now we only have about a minute of driving time left. But hey, if we can get to town, which I think we can. I mean, it should be very easy to get saved, right? Out in the wilderness in like a swamp or something. This, you know, we're not getting saved, but like... In the middle of town? Hell yeah, bro. How could I not be saved? I might even reach the freaking uh, gas pump. Let me see, let me see. Can I reach the gas pump? Just up ahead. If I can, my immersion will be maintained. Because I can be like, oh, I just went to the gas pump and I drove back. And yep, I, I made it. With like barely any fuel left, but I did indeed make it. Eighteen liters of fuel. I mean, eighteen liters of fuel. Shut off the engine. Okay. So, couple, uh, couple of things you can do. I believe. That does not look... Is it actually a little better? Might be a little better actually. It's more connected now. This definitely isn't though. Although... Maybe? Yeah, this wasn't closed. Maybe it is pumping. It's just it's just gonna take a long ass time. It's gonna take very very long to do that. But he, oh oh that's yeah 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 no 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 look at this holy crap so it did just start immediately. It's just taking its time, it's taking its sweet time to get it done. I gotta go check that shit out immediately. Oh I. Can I customize anything, please? Let me see. I got a new rank. Got a new rank. Yes, I can get off-road tires. Look at this shit. So both of them are so cool. Specializing tires are providing great traction in the worst of circumstances without sacrificing too much honor performance. It's crazy. Current is average, average good. Get average, excellent good. The good stays as it is, but the off-roading becomes ex excellent, bro. Be those. Be 38 OS one. 35. I can get 39 inch tires. Holy. Yeah, I mean bigger tires are just better. That's why they're more expensive. I'm guessing also. <laughs> 39 inch pain tires. Okay, and then mud tires are crazy, but they're poor on road. Ultimate weapon against deepest of marshes, providing best off performance at cost of on road traction. Yeah, this baby is going everywhere. I can't even put like a tank or front a track which reduces power to weight though. Spare wheels for quick on repairs. You know what? Just spare wheel in there. I'm I'm in the spending mood. Look at my dang tires, bro. Look at these frippin' tires. 
I'm not getting stuck anywhere, bro. I got traction for days. I'm going to drive forever. Nobody's going to stop me. Hell, nobody can. Show me some off-road action. Bad boys have no problem. These are mud tires too, right? No, no, no they're off-road tires. Right? They're great off-road and then they're good in the mud as well. Oh, smooth sailing, buddy. Smooth as sailing. Plus, they're also like, the, the tires are just bigger. So, no, they're gonna they're gonna be a lot better at with like dealing with rocks and shit. I don't even have AWD on, and I'm smooth sailing through. I reached the freaking farm. Let's go. The farm is freaking fully drained. But what the hell? That's so cool. <laughs> Can't believe it. The bilge pumps are actually pumping. I thought they wouldn't. They all this mud here? Yeah, I don't even care about it. Look at this shit. Don't even care. Do not care. My tires can deal with this, no problem. Do this shit every day. I don't even need all-wheel drive for this crap. This ain't even real mud. Fake mud. My eyes. Oh, I fell in the mud. Think I got a problem with that? Nah, man. Don't even need all-wheel drive for this mud. Then we got a spare tire in there and guess something happens. Yo. That is a lot less water, though. You gotta... Like, this was all water. Last time I was here. And being honest, it is still water. With these better tires and the lower water level. Yeah, this is where I got completely stuck. Okay. Well, might be a little bit more time to. Uh, Maybe I need some, this, this place needs some more time to, uh, get unmuddied. So in high gear it starts to stall. Okay, okay, but, but, okay, so it's, it's... Repair. Repair, oh, I can, I can, I can repair, wait, with a wheel? I can repair a wheel, okay, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I was like, what do you mean, repair? I can repair the part of my body with it? No. You cannot. You can repair parts of the wheel and stuff. I mean, it does seem to be getting a little better. Not that much, though, here yet. I mean, this this is dramatic, though. This is this is a dramatic amount of change. That is a lot less water. I mean, I just got to give it a little more time. I think a little more time and see all of these little puddles start clearing up. Maybe even these on the road here. I'll be able to grab that brown scout truck, no problem. Bro, wait a minute. All of this area. Okay, I mean, it's here, which I guess is low-lying, so it's pulling all the water out from everywhere. Well, that is crazy. So I'm guessing this is probably pulling water out of all of this area. Yo. So wait, if I go here. Probably can't notice, but probably all of this is going to get a lot better. Because this is the, the pump was down here. This is probably low-lying zone, right? Probably pulls water from uh, from higher up. Bro. Best mission ever. Probably best mission ever. 
pretty much. All right, for now, though, unfortunately, and I am sad about this, but I got to end it. I'll see you in the next one.